once you start a client and add them as a project after they have signed up, signed their quote, paid their invoice, whatever deposit there is, and have signed the contract, we turn them into a project. I would not turn them into a project until they've signed the contract because when you do the contract, it has merge fields and the merge fields are set up for leads, not clients. So in the system that recognizes a lead before a project is created and they're recognized as a client after a project has been created. So we created a project last night for Araceli Huerta. She's starting with us and currently she's getting married in October, October 29th, 2021. So what, this is the first thing you do. You ask them for a really cute picture. I actually text them that and I added their photo in there. Then you want to go into planning partners and add the entire staff by hitting add organization member, which I did. And then you want to add her. I gave her full client access, but what you want to do is click here and put the budget on read only for now until they've done their kickstart call. Once they've done their kickstart call, we will give them full access to the budget because they now know what they're doing. So the checklist, you have to start opening up everything. So right now the checklist is not released. You want to make sure that everything is set up and everything is set up correctly. You can change all the dates now or you can do it during the kickstart call. I recommend changing them now so when they see it, they see everything perfect, but I'm going to do it during the kickstart call and explain that to her, especially for the uh, brevity of this video as well. So I'm going to release the checklist. Once you release it, the client can now see it. Then you go to the calendar and check it out. The calendar is released as well. It releases with the checklist. You can go to the timeline. When you go to the timeline, now this is only used as a draft and I'm going to put in here draft only. Whoops, draft only. There we go. And I'm going to add a template. So when you add the template, since if it's a regular wedding, you're going to add the two day template and you'll check here under bold impact events, which is our template that we created. Now, if you see anything in there that needs to be changed or you'd like to be added to the timeline that really helps with our notes, let us know. We can change that in settings. So you're going to import day one, which is uh, her wedding date was the 29th. So day one is the 28th and day two is the 29th and day three is the 30th. I believe because this is the first time I'm importing this. So let's see. It's the 20, 27th, 28th, 29th and 30th for it being the day after. I believe that's correct. We'll know as soon as I open it up. Yes, so Wednesday is any cultural events or pre-wedding events that are going on uh, before a rehearsal day. Then Thursday is the rehearsal day. The 29th is the actual big day. And you've got sunset, invitation, start time, and what the actual start time is. Uh, it should normally be the same unless you are dealing with Indian clients or Latin clients because they tend to culturally run very late. So usually they have a different invitation time than they do for start time, about 30 minutes. I don't like that. I don't approve of that, but I've learned that you got to go with the flow. Otherwise everybody will be trying to get in the ceremony after you start. So, and then your next day after that is any like post brunches, etc. So that's set up. You can release this now, release the timeline. Now we have the design studio. When you set up the design studio, you want to add the templates that are already created in here instead of a new style guide. So add from template. We're going to add the initial client setup, which is my general 
inspiration. Then the next one is going to be potential venues. And the next one's going to be my venue. And the next one's going to be floral decor and cake inspiration. And what this does is it gives them these style guides that they can start working with. Um, the next one is going to be photography inspiration. And then the next one's going to be attire accessories and inspiration. Now we want them to have inspiration ones now. And then as we get closer, we're going to start adding the actual style guides for what we're going to be using. And then at the end, we create a final design board. So now we're going to add the beauty and hair and makeup inspiration. And the next one is add from timeline stationary and in inspiration. And then we have add from template is the mood board. And then finally, add from template is the final design board. So now you can sort these however you want, but these are basically in order. Now, what I like to do is once I know what the client's inspiration is by going over here uh, to her notes from her consultation that we did, we know that her colors are, let's see, where is it? So her wedding, we believe, is July 15th, but it's we're putting it as October 29th. And her colors are rustic floral-like, um, white, blush, and gold. So what I like to do is just run a few photos, uh, white, blush, and gold wedding theme. Find some photos for her just to put in that general inspiration board and add that in there. Here's a one here. I'm going to save that image out of selling. And here's another one. Now I'll add more later on, but for the brevity again of this video, I'm going to just add a couple. So save image as Araceli 2. Now go back to Isle Planner and go back into the project, which is the design studio here. And in the Actually, I want, I should have added them backwards because I want the general inspiration to be up here. Final design to be at the bottom. General inspiration up here at the top. Okay, mood board. And then we have all that other stuff. Her venue should be up here as well and potential venues. She already has a venue, so should probably just take this out. But So put these in order when I uh, loaded them. So I need to put them in there and load them in the backward order so that way they show up correctly. So now in the general inspiration, I'm going to open that. I'm going to take the two uh, photos that I just found and I'm going to just put those in there. I like to put about 10 to 20 inspiration photos. So as the planner, you should go ahead and do that in there. And this is what I call the hodgepodge. So when we have the hodgepodge, I tell her, I've put some in there that you may like as some inspiration. Anything you don't like, just take it out and go ahead and add everything that you do like. So now we can release the design studio so she has something to look at. Uh, then I'll go through it with her to know what she's supposed to be doing with it on the kickstart call. Now go to the guest list. That needs to be released as well. So we're going to release that. Uh, layout seating. I think that's released with that. It is. So we're going to leave that alone. Contacts. We're going to release that. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and add their uh, first contact, which is Bold Impact Events. They've already booked this client. 
they're booked. And this is the wedding planner category. And I'm going to add that in there. So she has a contact in there. And I'm going to release that. And we'll show her how to upload the rest of her vendors. Then we're going to release the budget. But she is in view only. So that's okay. So release budget. She's in view only. And then we'll review that and set it up with her during the Kickstart call. And notes. You're going to add a few, so add from template. I'm going to put in the Texas marriage license, which is right here. And so that's under ceremony. And make sure you put the categories and things that they need to get started with. So the client toolkit. That goes under wedding planner and the getting started in aisle planner, which goes under wedding planner. And add a few things in there. And then when you do the kickstart call, you can also add some more so she sees how you're doing that. This right here that says untitled notes is something they cannot see, but it's the lead notes. It's all of the notes that came from the section that we were typing in when she was a lead. It transfers over into notes. So you have all this documentation. That's why I take my comments for the consultation and paste them in that square because then they come over uh, and that is wedding planner. And you'll see here that under visual who can see it. It's only us only our clients or client editing lock. So it's just us and that's in there. So that's done. Now I'm going to release notes. And then website, I'm going to create the website. Actually, I'm not going to create the website. Oh, yeah, I, I'm going to put Adicelli and Jeffrey. Oops. Give them the name, and then it's available, and then publish the website and release the website so she'll be able to see it. There we go. So now, once that's all done, I'm going to go back into the client. And there are two letters that they get. So you're going to send them under documents. The first thing you're going to do is send them the new client welcome letter, which is already written out for you. And they're numbered, as you saw. So she's going to get this one. And she's already there on her as a recipient. So we're going to send that to her. Send. And then if you click on email template, it's already, show, it's already written out as the letter. So new client one, the welcome letter, all her information is there. Again, if you see anything that you'd like to see changed over time, let us know. We can change the templates. So now she's gotten the new client welcome letter and we're going to send at this point is when I usually send the invitation to IO planner, but I did that last night and number two then you send the second email after you send them the invitation to aisle planner and this is the introduction to the aisle planner system and this is where i asked for a cute photo but i had already asked her for that in the video uh, um on text and now you just click on new new client number two intro to client portal click that there and send so now you are set up. There is a link in there for her to sign up for her Kickstart call. That's the next thing to do. Um, the next thing to do after this is to go into the Google Drive and create a new client. So we've got clients right here, which you may or may not be able to see. And then I go into the blank clients which I'm showing you, but I'll do another video also for this and just change the name under the client template. So change the name to BIE client Araceli and Jeffrey and they're done. So then just move that right into the uh, client folder. You'll see it there now under down here. So right there, BIE client, Araceli and Jeffrey. 
perfect. That's it. That's how you get a new client started. And then we have their uh, kickstart call.